Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Into the Reach. We are playing as the Rusting Hulks, and we just finished up the second island. I think we did RST second? Yeah, that sounds right. So now, let's have a look at the next two. We're certainly not going to try for just a two island win here. We're doing quite well. We're sort of, haha, steamrolling, you might say smoke rolling uh, this game. Uh, doing pretty well, maxed up on defense, got a lot of new weapons and power and stuff. Um, so we have... Uh, as our choices for the next two to do, we have uh, Pinnacle, which you guys have seen before. Uh, we have look, like an exploding scion here, spiders, and what are, the, are those centipedes, I think they're called? The, the shooty guys there? And a bot leader. So I don't like spiders that much. I don't like centipedes that much. But as you, as you do more and more islands, you get more and more nasty guys. So Now this one's actually not looking too bad. The beetles are kind of easy to manipulate. I don't love blobbers. But most of the stuff in here is, like, pretty manageable, actually. Yeah, this looks great. I'll take it. Now, I don't believe you guys have seen to try this yet before. They have a lot of acid-themed stuff in here. Uh, and, anyway, we'll see. When the Vec came, to try this took on what refugees we could. What we lack is your military expertise, Commander. And I th think that these mechs are supposed to be from Detritus? Or maybe they're from Pinnacle, because we have shields on this guy? I don't know. Smoke certainly sounds detritus themed. What do I know? All right, uh, so there's two hard ones here, these two. And if we really wanted to, we could get over to this easy one for some reason, but I don't plan to. What are the missions we have available? Obviously, I want to try this one at some point, but we don't necessarily have to try it first. Uh, you know, because reactor cores are great. Um, here, well, let's have a look. So we get this little guy, an acid, um, an acid robot who has a projectile that just applies acid. Plus, there's acid all over the place that enemies might step in. So we're supposed to kill guy, four guys who have been acided, which is a bit not always so easy to do. But um, if you get lucky and the enemies step in acid, then fine. On the other hand, there's like a lot of enemies here, so it's a bit hard. How about this? I don't want to do this now, like. I'd rather have rep stars than uh, power lightning bolts, but um, this one looks pretty manageable if we ever decide to do it. And here, kill at least seven enemies. Sure, seems like it's doable. Um, but I'd rather work my way into here, which will show me like pretty much all of the other missions we could ever want to do. I think we'll just do this one first. Um, and it'll show us everything else we might ever want to do. And then we can sort of take our pick of all the good missions on the island after doing this one, which we're certainly going to do eventually. Yeah. And if we take damage, hey, we can go here. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let me just double check that we're outfitted the way I still want. We have the plus one range. We have this. Um, I'd like to start investing in getting the storm generator online because we have ways to just create a ton of smoke um, and so if we could get a couple more reactor cores into this guy, I'd be real happy. Um, and yeah, we have shield self and plus one use on the smoke pellets. Seems fine. Plus one move as well. We could take these out and put them into shield friendly, but no, I think the, I think the plus one move is pretty good. Okay, let's 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 get going. Let's start killing some dudes. That's what you guys are here to watch. The strategy layer is interesting, but like, I I couldn't bear to watch it for very long. Um, Maybe here? Hmm, I think here's better. Um, and then we'll try and block this area off with our with our two other mechs. Does it, what direction? Which, which one do I want closer to the enemy and which one do I want further away? I guess I want the science guy further away because he has more moves. Yeah, all right. So what do we have? We have an alpha leaper. A normal blobber, and, oh, basically a normal blobber and everything else is alphas. Ugh, hard mode is gross. And the uh, the one blob sci uh, <laughs> blood scion. Okay. So that's giving them healing, not giving them health. A time pod as well as the reactor core. That is quite extraordinary. Um, if we can manage to pick up both of those things, it'll be a big win. It's a normal blobber, right? So this should only do one damage? Okay, so how many enemies are attacking buildings? One, two, three. So at least from that point of view, 
we have a pretty clear like uh, set of priorities, I guess you could say. Does it count as retrieving the time pod if I do this? It does. All right, good to know. Um, who do I need to apply acid to? Also, if I shoot this guy with a missile and he lands here and dies, does that count as killing a guy with acid? Probably. Um, okay, so, well, one, like, thing to think about is that this is looking pretty good, right? It takes care of two enemies with a single unit, freeing me up to do whatever seems pretty good with everyone else. Um, for example, I could kill this guy. You often don't get a chance to kill blobbers because they create other threats you have to deal with. But, um... It's a bit tricky, actually, to make use of this to kill this guy. Because if we push it with a missile, it won't explode. And it would be nice if it like went down here and then exploded and killed this guy or something, right? So, like, putting acid on this guy seems appealing, because then I could take him down to the jet mech, right? Deal two damage plus one from the smoke. Um, I don't love that we're just sort of stalling on both of these two enemies, but it gets this... It, it, it lets me... Well, I still can't really kill this guy if I do that, can I? I could I could shoot like this, but then we're taking damage on this thing if I if I deal with this guy. Um, I could push this thing towards the Scion, and then bomb them both with the jet. Uh, but then I don't see how this guy can take care of both of these, right? Um, this, this doesn't push enemies, right? It just applies acid? Yeah. Hmm. I really don't like that best plan I can come up with involves doing no damage to anybody except this guy. Right? Or not even this guy. It kills this guy and does no damage to anyone else. Right? That's that's what the plan is that comes up and does this, and then acids this guy and bombs him. Like, what am I accomplishing? Is this guy really that high a priority for me? I don't think so. Uh... Of course, I can kill this guy. Uh, and bomb this or something. Or like, I mean, come down here and smoke pellets this. But the thing is... Well, no, I wouldn't. So, alright, I could use this guy to do smoke pellets down here. Destroy this, get started on killing this guy. But if I do that, I need to devote one unit to each of these two things. Um, I guess I could kill this guy by acid plus, um, missile against him. Uh, and then bomb this guy with the jet mech. It leaves these two both undamaged, but it does, like, kill this guy and makes a start on this guy, which we'll sort of want to finish off eventually. Uh, is it possible that I could kill this guy instead of this one? Like, if you could acid him and then shoot him for two, that would do it. But I don't think I can do that, because I can't get in here to apply acid. So 
So I, I, I've sort of proposed two lines right now. Let's, let's compare what's different about them. Um, I can kill this guy and not damage anyone else, but get a shield. And, and, and of course, neutralize this bomb. Or I can kill this guy, the bomb and this guy and damage this guy, but use up one of my smoke pellets and, for what it's worth, get acid on, um... Well, and I also do some, some damage to this guy in that line as well, right? Maybe that is better. Is to come down here, shoot this guy, getting, you know, two damage, one of which will be healed, but that still nets out to one. Um, killing this guy with the jet mech and the acid tank and coming in here and applying smoke pellets, killing the bomb and damaging the Scion. It kill, it, it gets one lasting damage on this and one lasting damage on this compared to the other line. Um, and kills this instead of this. I don't know which one of those is more of a threat, but they seem about equal to me. I think that seems better. The other downside, I guess, is I don't generate a shield for myself and I soak up one of these acid patches. Neither of which I like, but it's manageable, I think. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and commit to that, I think. It's, it's an okay line. I don't know if it's a good one. Yeah, so we're gonna do this. And fly over him in this direction. Uh, oh, but first, come down here so that this space is open to apply smoke to. And this creates some useful smoke down there, I guess. And finally do this. It seems all right. We do create a lot of smoke. Look at that, eight smoke in one turn. Oh my god, I'm standing in the way of this. What a terrible mistake. I forgot to check that. I should have jumped in the other direction. Obvious error. That could uh, be quite a problem. Those 3 HP on my jet mech are valuable resources that I spent for no, no reason now. So the obvious thing that I kind of want to do is this, right? That takes care of both of these guys, no problem. Um, and then maybe come in here and shield up or something? No, if I shield up, I'll um, he'll still push me into the city, so it doesn't doesn't really help. Um, maybe shield to get this guy into some smoke followed by jet bombing this. And I suppose I'll put acid on this guy. All right, come down here and acid. And then when I, or actually probably here to pick up the time pod and acid him. Then when I jump over him, See, I can't choose to land here, blocking the spawn, because I accidentally used up three friggin' help on the health on my jet for no reason. So that seems okay, doesn't it? Oh! I want to deal with this guy if I can, but it doesn't look like I can. There's too many actual threats to deal with. I can't get the last point of damage in against him. I'm really bummed about this mistake I made here. I don't know if it's going to end up making a difference, but I feel bad about it. Um, yeah. So let's see. This guy, yeah, I want to stand here. So that means I do want this guy here if I'm doing that. Which I think I do. Neither of these guys have acid, so they won't count, but that's fine. 
Yeah, I think this deals with everyone reasonably well. The main question is which direction do I want to push this guy? And I think I want to push him here? No, I want to be closer to the action, standing here uh, rather than here. I don't care so much where I push this guy to, although I'd rather push him here. I think it's more important that I be in this direction so that I can deal with what's left over on this side. So we're gonna do that, shoot here, push, acid this guy and smoke bomb him. That takes care of that, okay. So let's just do all of that. Everyone has their moves that I need to have them. Acid this guy. Go. Ugh. These two are, are serious threats that I'm deferring just because they're not doing direct damage, and I wish I could get to them. But, I mean, defer long enough and that's the answer, right? You've solved the problem. Oh, that guy's gonna throw himself into the ocean. That's great news for me. I can just bomb this guy, that's easy. And if he throws himself into the ocean, that means I can, um... I get the acid point for, for him dying, I believe. Um... Which is good. I would love to just launch some artillery up here, killing this guy, but of course there's the problem that... He's, uh, gonna bump into this. Also, he's now done like he's ne not going to attack again this guy's advantage is that he attacks like at a place distinct from his current location so you can't disable him to disable the attack but his disadvantage is he attacks slowly he doesn't attack until the next turn um wait is that true no it's not until next turn that i'm going to be able to completely ignore him okay so I it would be nice to, to kill that guy if i could What's the order? Ah, if I push this guy up here, he'll kill this bomb for me. That's quite useful. Um, I'm actually sort of struggling to find a place to put this artillery if I want to just dodge out of the way of this guy and still be useful. Ah, I, I, could, I see. I could use him to do the push if I wanted. What then am I doing with these guys? By the way, how are we on the uh, smoke damage? Yeah, five. This is very hard to do without the um, double smoke damage uh, passive. So if I put my artillery here, I don't actually see a good way to deal the killing blow to this fellow, which is not the end of the world. Um, Oh, this guy has four moves? Oh, wow. So I can actually shoot this. I thought he would only have three because he's this crappy little tank. But okay, four. Uh, then I can do four damage to this guy. Followed by, say, pushing him into the smoke. Right? And it gets me the... Um... Oh, but hang on. If I do that well I could be here I was thinking I don't want to be here because then my jet can't escape properly but I can actually come all the way up here if I want acid this guy come here bomb him free yourself and push right I can do all I can spend three attacks killing this guy which seems outrageous but like nothing else is doing anything so it's fine um and it gets me my third acid kill, so I just need one more. 
which I should be able to manage next turn killing this guy or this guy while marking them with acid because my acid shooter is nice and centralized. So I think that that's play. Okay, so let's let's do that. Yes, these two are positioned to shoot what I need them to shoot, and this guy can get where he needs to be. The only play we have left is this. And I hope that this counts as two acid kills. This guy and then this guy. I'll be sad if it's not. This doesn't have acid, does it? No. I don't know if it were put in acid, if it would pick it up and, and count for this. Who knows? That's two. Good. Oh, I forgot we had a Vec emerging. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Oh, he's just gonna kill himself, and he's a, he's already taken an acid bath. Great. So literally the only thing we have to deal with is this, which seems quite manageable. Uh, but like just for extra credit, Let's get this kill as well. And we can get this kill. And we even have some smoke left over for this guy. All right, everybody's dead, right? Nice, okay, so big mistake on turn one. Turned out not to cost, although it did make things it took away some opportunities that I might have had to like block a spawn or something, but it turned out not to actually cost any resources, just options. What's in the pot? Lily Reed, gain plus three move on first turn of every mission. That seems like it should be good, but like, I don't, I don't know. I guess there's only four turns per mission, right? So getting three move for a quarter of all turns is like pretty good. And the first turn might be the most important one sometimes. So yeah, we're thinking about it. And this guy got plus one mech boob as well. Oh, we unlocked her. All right. So, more importantly, though, we have two reactor cores, which I am, like, strongly considering just, like, like this. This is what I am strongly considering. Um, what else, like, could I do that would even be close to that? I don't know. That seems amazing. We have so much smoke everywhere. We have this... We upgraded it in the way that deals more smoke. God, I gotta keep remembering I have this. <laughs> um, we have this that puts down a shitload of smoke. Pardon my French. Um, now, Lily is, like, seems good, but her skill is not great. And, like, I could swap her with Archimedes, for example since I'm not using his ability. Um, but that would basically just be like trading, like they both have the plus three grid defense, very lovely, of course. I'll be trading the plus two HP on my jet mech for plus three move the first turn of every mission. I feel like the first turn is the one where my jet mech most often has all the moves that it needs. Um, and also is the mech that really could use plus two HP, because four is like so much more than two. So I think for the moment, although I have Lily, I don't think there's actually a mech or a pilot that I want to trade her with. Like I, I need the mech reactor, it's so good. I could trade with this one, lose the mech HP and the mech move, but no thanks. Like, I don't know. I hear Lily's supposed to be good, but I don't, I don't get it. These guys have like, good skills. She has a bad skill. I'll pass. She has a good ability, but obviously I'd be thrilled to have Lily if I could take her at the same experience level as my other starting pilots. She'd be much better. Um, but I can't. So uh, these are the remaining missions that we have left. Um, so this place has conveyor belts where if you stand on them, well, Every turn, anything standing on the conveyor belt is moved in the direction of the belt by one tile. 
uh, which pushes anything that's already there. But I think it all moves at once, so like that never happens. Although I suppose there are things that are immune to pushes, so maybe if one of them were on the belt, they would get pushed into. Uh, so take less than three damage, protect the coal plant. Seems doable. Not like especially amazing or, or easy or hard. Um, over a very similar one. Protect the batteries, take a small amount of mech damage, and there's conveyor belts. Oh, this is weird. It's like they tried to place a conveyor belt that goes like this, but it got interrupted by a Vex spawner and the mountain and just looks kind of dumb. I don't know. Um, and then there's another one over here. Maybe they weren't supposed to be connected, and it just looks weird. Um, so I'd be more inclined to take the one about grid damage, because I like having mech damage available as a resource to use. Uh, and finally we have this. Defend the disposal unit. Destroy all mountains and protect the power generator. Now, destroy all mountains sounds like a tall order, um, plus the fact that there's six enemies on this mission. But you get the disposal unit, uh, which is kind of like the terraformer from RST, but it's like way better. Uh, which basically it can just destroy everything in like a one by one cross grid like this, uh, including mountains, including enemies. Um, just destroy anything. You can do that every turn of the mission anywhere on the screen which is like nuts. So we would want to spend probably two of those turns on mountains and two of those turns on destroying a bunch of enemies and splashing them with acid and stuff. So I think this is manageable. And, and in fact, let's just go for it. All right, here are the enemies we have. The Blobber, a couple of beetles, um, and a Scion. So if we block this off, we can sort of guarantee that they'll all charge us because they won't be able to get to any cities or anything. And then we can deal with them accordingly. Um, I want this guy here because that gives him pretty good mobility. This guy here gives him pretty good mobility in all of the relevant dimensions. Uh, Jet Mech has less move, so I'll put him in the middle. And uh, the science guy off to the side where he's sort of close to some acid that maybe he could push people into or something. Or push them into this, push a beetle who's charging this way, tuck him behind this mountain maybe. But on turn one, I sort of expect to use the disposal unit to take out some uh, enemies. Because there are so many of them that we have to deal with, on, uh, especially on this one turn. Oh, I guess they can get to this city. What was that last noise? I didn't quite hear what that was. It sounded weird. Oh, it's an alpha blobber. So for example, here is a pretty disgusting place to drop a one by one plus that destroys all enemies, right? <laughs> like that's that's pretty strong. Um, and we could like put down smoke pellets here and um, uh, take care of each of these guys with one of our two damage attacks. Or actually, this guy does three damage now because we upgraded our smoke. So... Yeah, and in fact, the smoke pellets placed here will kill this guy and halfway kill this guy. So that all seems very strong. And do I... Do my eyes deceive me? No spawners this turn? That's quite a surprise. Okay, well, let's just uh, do that. It seems very good. Anyway, I said it was going to take us two turns to take out the mountains, which is pretty clear, right? Shoot here once, shoot here once, and then twice spend it on the, on killing an actual enemy. I, I think that's pretty clear, but in case it wasn't, there you go, that's what I'm planning. Um, I'd rather have the smoke up here, I think, blocking a city, than have it here blocking access to this guy. Although, it now occurs to me, it's a little bit tricky to shoot this guy for two? Like, I could do this, right? But then I'm very... This is a very bad spot to be in. Um, and so you could consider, say, using the mech, the jet mech to kill this guy instead, and then killing this guy. But actually, I don't have to make that choice. Um, because... I can uh, go like this, 
and then walk here and like just put some smoke on this guy. The smoke now does two damage, remember, not one. So this is uh, this is a kill and quite useful for. Well, mm, I'd rather there not be smoke on that tile so that I can push people into the the acid or something. But this is fine. So let's do that. And look at that, we're already at six smoke damage after one turn. And now the Vec are coming, but we have a spare turn to drop a bunch of uh, acid on mountains since there's nothing real to attack. Um, I think I'll just do this. And then use the other two to sort of try to block spawners and get in the way. Hmm... Which mechs do I want to use to block spawners? Obviously the science mech, since it can shield up while we do that. And I guess we don't want to block this spawner, because I'm going to put acid here. And we want the enemy to pick up the acid rather than us. So we want to block like this and this. There's something to be said actually for destroying these mountains this turn, because then these guys, whoever spawns from here, will be quite isolated and easy to deal with. Yeah, I think I'll use this artillery to kill this guy because he really wants to be centralized, whereas all the other mechs want to be near the action. Uh, and if we block these two, then the action is here. Yeah, that sounds good. Plus, of course, we get to put some smoke right in front of the um, disposal unit, which is nice as well. Yeah, and I think we'll blow up these to, to restrict the movement of the enemies who appear next turn. Make sure I don't have any moves in I don't want. Good. And uh, we'll put this guy... No. I will put the jet mech here. Normally I like to have the jet mech more centralized because he has less movement than the uh, pulse mech. But here, the ability to fly is very, very valuable. Oh, he can't reach. Well, let's forget that then. We'll go here. Is there acid on that square? No. Oh, I can't shield up while I'm here. <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll just have to take the damage uh, and do this. Boy, there sure is a lot of acid over here. My enemies must not appreciate that. Ah, so this is interesting. On this turn, I could consider doing this, not while my guy is standing there, obviously, to open up the ability to smoke bomb this whole area with the jet, which I can't do unless this mountain is destroyed. Alternatively, I could just blow these guys up this turn. Right? Um, do this. Um, and then let me block three spawns on this turn. That's probably better. I feel like my three mechs combined can deal with one Vec well enough to let me do this next turn. Yeah, let's do that. They can't repair while they're standing on the, the smoke. Um, you have five moves? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, here. So I guess I'll send this guy to here and have him, like, repair or something. And likewise this guy to here so he can repair. And then this guy, who doesn't need to attack this turn, can block, say, this spawn. And then what the one enemy who appears will be right here next to all of my units. The only danger I'm considering is what if he chooses to, like, web this guy, pinning him in. But remember, he can't actually attack just by walking here. He'd have to jump behind us. And then I think, yeah, this should be okay. Sure. All right. So let's do that. We'll kill these guys. A level up. What did we get? Um, plus two mech HP is the new thing for Archimedes, I think. No. 
I didn't see who leveled up. It must have been this guy getting plus one mech move. Yeah, we have six now. Wow, that's quite far. Cool. Well, then we can justify depowering the mech move uh, upgrade and, and powering up one of uh, the attacks. All right, so what was I going to do? I was going to put these two guys in here. Uh, repair. And I could repair. Oh, I can't shield now because, <laughs> you know, that's a problem. But I could have done it before I moved this guy. But, but repairing and shielding are equivalent here since we're about to block and attack anyway. And I'll just come here. And there's not really any place this guy could get to that worries me. Wow! I was That was like the one thing. I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be awkward if um, they were to do this, right? Shit! Because I actually can't deal with these mountains. <laughs> Right? I even thought about this exact possibility, and it didn't occur to me I would be unable to cope with it. I was like, it's fine if they attack this guy. Because it won't kill him. But I actually have no way to defend myself. And I, I can't I can't do this. Oh, I feel dumb. Obviously I can do this. But I don't think I can destroy two mountains with just my units, can I? Like, how could I even consider doing that? I could come pretty close. I could destroy this mountain and damage this mountain, but I couldn't actually destroy them both with that. Uh -uh. Not as far as I can see. Oh, man. What a bummer. I even was thinking to myself, although I don't think I said, if they webbed me here, like, I would be unable to escape the, um the acid shooting. But I just somehow thought, like, no enemy's ever going to be able to web me here because they'll spawn here. But of course they can friggin' jump and get over here. And we're just one move short, too, I think. If I could get to here, and then jump bomb all the way to here, then I could escape and put the acid in. Ah, no. I thought I had an answer for a second there. Oh, I do have an answer. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Okay, I'm glad I spent so long moaning about it, because I finally turned my brain on. So I was thinking, first, what if I just put this guy here and push the two into each other? That'll kill him. But I can't. There's smoke here. Um, but what I can do is come over here and use my ramming engine against him. And that puts my jet mech close to the mountains that are exploding, but not, not on a square that actually gets damaged. And also, apparently, he takes double damage because he's stepping in acid at this point. But that's fine. Okay, so I've managed to salvage the idiotic situation that I put myself into when there was like no other possible way to lose. Um, but I do feel pretty dumb about getting into that situation to begin with. Okay. Got all the objectives. Uh, but it was certainly a close thing. All right, um, these missions have been a bit slow, and so I would consider um, calling a break, yeah, understood, um, after just two missions instead of three. 
But um, it's actually a bit more convenient for my schedule to do three missions now and then two later than it is to do uh, vice versa. So this episode will probably go a bit long. On the other hand, uh, the next two missions should be relatively easy compared to the first two that we did. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. Um, so I think I'll go for this one. Or what's this about? Pretty much everything I could possibly do is one star and one power, right? So it's just a question of which objectives and maps do I think are the easiest? I think this is pretty easy. So yeah, let's do that. Like usually three grid damage is a sign of a disaster. It's generally like a non-objective. If, you, if you're failing this, you have, you have worse problems, right? Um, so let's just do this one. Seems nice and straightforward. Okay. Um, Good news regarding that beetle is that the only thing he can plausibly attack is this. Um, and if he does, he has to stand on this column, uh, which means that a timely push would, would put him into the drink here. So I'm actually considering dropping my artillery way over here, not in a position I normally would, just so that it can like get to here if I find that useful. Um, alternatively, I could just, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to change the power settings for my science mech, who now has more moves than he needs. The other thing is I could just put the science mech like over here somewhere so that he could go one, two, three, four, five, or something, right? Um, and that way he can also get over here if he's needed. So I think that that's what I should do to deal with this guy and not like badly position my artillery just for one move that I think it might want to make. Um, I'll, I'll just put the artillery here, which is relatively flexible. And it does have enough moves to um, to get to here if we want to shoot this guy. Uh, and finally, the jet mech here seems pretty good. And they're lining up to get smoked. Look at that. He's doing exactly what I hoped he might. And no one else is even attacking a building? Am I reading this correctly? It looks that way. Yeah, we can kill these two relatively easily. And just ignore this guy for a little while. Push this guy into the acid. I think this is such a strong play that like I have to do this. There we go. Taken care of. Now, as for these two, I have a couple of ways. Like, I have a couple of ways to deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's a little bit tricky for me to kill. I, I could kill either of these two with either of these, but it's a bit tricky to, to use this guy to kill the scion. It's a bit simpler to kill this guy. Um, probably by backing up to here. I don't really want to be in this spot. It's not that great, but I guess it's okay. Um, I could consider doing something like this to kill him with smoke, but then of course I get shot by this guy, which I don't like so much. Um, I think I'll settle for here and kill this guy, and then here. Well, actually here. I don't I don't want smoke over this tile, because this is a tile that enemies mostly can't use, whereas I can, so I don't want smoke there. I want to be able to attack from there. It would be nice if I could to somehow push this guy into some acid or something. That's not realistic, right? Yeah, I'm one tile off. If I could get one tile further, I could do it. Oh, one consideration is I could choose not to kill this guy and, like, do some damage to this guy instead. Or kill, not kill this guy, but, but then I'm letting whoever, I'm letting this guy heal up, so it's not that much damage. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do this. Something pretty straightforward that, that works well. I don't see any strong arguments for doing anything too creative. Yeah, they always comment about being pulled by conveyor belts for some reason. Ooh, we could stand right here and put out some smoke pellets? How cool would that be? Um, or if we just like 
This guy's just gonna kill himself again. These guys are so awful. I'm glad I stood here. Um, so, artillery like this seems pretty okay. Ah, which allows me to move to here with this guy, pushing this into the, uh, the acid as well. I don't need to kill this at all. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, that, that seems very good, so let's do it. Excuse me? Oh, I can't walk through this guy. I thought I could. Uh, okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Um, I'll just uh, do this. And... Um, here. Uh, blocking this is probably pretty good. Yeah, a leaper should be no problem. Indeed, we can just push him and stay blocking this spawner. He'll go into the smoke, of course. kill this guy with the artillery. You know what? Let's kill him with the smoke like this. That way there's a little bit more smoke on the field where it might conceivably be useful. Uh, let's block this spawner. That way these guys are the most... Oh, he can't repair there. We'll block this one. Not quite as good. I'd rather prevent this guy from spawning. But I think we have a handle on anywhere that they might spawn. Are we at the achievement yet? It felt like we did it a while ago, but I guess not. We must have gotten really close in the previous battle, but not quite gotten there. It's a little bit tricky to deal three damage to this guy. Of course I don't have to. We don't have to kill him. Um, I could do it by standing here and thereby kill this mech. Um, ah! I don't have to deal three damage to him. I can push him into the water here. Push him away once, and then fly the jet mech in and use my ramming engine to shove him into the water. Yeah, that's the line. But also, I could have maybe, like, used the ramming engine on him and then used smoke pellets to deal the last point of damage. A lot of things work. That maybe would have gotten me to 12. I don't know. Probably not. Indeed, impossible, because the most we can do is two per enemy, and there are only two. We can't do six damage. Okay, cool. So, nice clean mission. Yeah, I, I didn't use the conveyor belts, but sure. Uh, just one more before corporate HQ, and then we'll be uh, done with Island 3. Going along swimmingly so far. These guys are... Feeling pretty strong. Hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.